Queen Elizabeth II wanted to sleep on the statement prepared by her aides in response to the claims made by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle during their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, a royal author has claimed. In his newly released book Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown, royal correspondent Valentine Lowe wrote the late monarch showed she was still the person to ultimately make decisions within the royal household, no matter how influential her aides may have been. In the book, the author recalled the Duke and Duchess of Sussex launched a number of damaging allegations, including of neglect and racism, against the firm during their two-hour-long sit-down with Ms. Winfrey, first aired on March 7 last year by U.S. broadcaster CBS. By 2 p.m. the following day, after debating how to deal with the issue created by Meghan and Harry, Private secretaries and communications secretaries had crafted a four-sentence long statement in response to the interview, Mr. Lowe wrote. He added in his book, and then, precisely nothing happened. The palace stayed completely silent, because the Queen decided that she wanted to sleep on it. She was not going to be rushed into saying anything precipitate. It was a reminder that, while courtiers might do all the groundwork, the final decisions are made by the royal family. At the age of 94, the Queen was very much still in charge. The Queen reportedly didn't want to be rushed into issuing a statement after the Oprah interview, image, Getty, Meghan Markle speaking with Oprah Winfrey, image, Getty slash CBS slash ITV, the four-sentence statement was eventually released just before 5.30 p.m. the following day. The official message shared by Buckingham Palace on behalf of Her Majesty described as concerning the issues raised, particularly that of race. Famously, the statement also said, while some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Addressing the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their son by name, the statement added Harry, Meghan, and Archie will always be much-loved family members. Read more, Prince Harry back to speak out in memoir Meghan Markle and Prince Harry with the Queen in 2019, image, Getty, Meghan Markle and the Queen during a joint engagement, image, Getty, both Prince Harry and Meghan discussed the structure of the firm during their groundbreaking conversation with Ms. Winfrey. The Duchess explained to the interviewer, so, there's the family, and then there's the people that are running the institution. Those are two separate things. And it's important to be able to compartmentalize that, because the Queen, for example, has always been wonderful to me. In a clip from the interview which didn't make to the final cut but was instead aired by CBS the morning after the primetime specials broadcast, Harry also mentioned his difficult relationship with some of the late monarch's aides as he claimed he was meant to see the Queen in person in early January 2020 to discuss his plans to step back as a working royal but he was later informed the monarch had called off the meeting because of a clash in her diary. Asked by Ms. Winfrey whether the late sovereign doesn't get to do what the Queen wants to do, the Duke said, no. When you're head of the firm, there are people around you that give you advice, and what has also made me really sad is that some of that advice has been really bad. Don't miss royal expert details reason Prince Harry will never return to UK. Expert Sarah Ferguson dismissed daughters Beatrice and Eugenie Signals, report Princess Anne inherits the Queen's favorite piece of jewelry, pics, the Queen's reign lasted between February 1952 and September 2022, image, Getty, trending one year later, in an interview with Hoda Kotb held during the Invictus Games at The Hague, Prince Harry appeared to take a swipe at Royal Aids as, Speaking about his recent meeting with his grandmother at Windsor Castle, he said, It was just so nice to see her. You know, she's on great form. She has always got a great sense of humor with me and I'm just making sure she's protected and has got the right people around her. Courtier's The Hidden Power Behind the Crown by Valentine Lowe was published on October 6 by Headline.